This is the old Paris Stock Exchange building. And in the room behind me, more than 100 experts are trading ideas. They're taking part in a two-day hackathon to try and use artificial intelligence to find new ways of treating brain cancer. This is my first hackathon, so really excited to deploy my uh, any bioinformatics expertise that I've hopefully built over the PhD. AI is, uh, in principle, able to uh, integrate all those sources and then find patterns that would usually not be accessible to humans. There's a multitude of possibilities, so uh, the ultimate goal would be, of course, targeted therapy. They're working on vast data sets drawn from more than 100 patients with glioblastoma, a deadly disease which kills most of those diagnosed within two years. Its cells reach deep down into the brain, making it difficult to reach, even with immunotherapy, which has transformed treatments for other cancers in recent years. One potential promising avenue could be what's known as personalized treatment, and AI could be the key to this. Dans le futur, tu auras vraiment un, un match entre un traitement et les bonnes populations qui répondent à ce traitement. Mais aujourd'hui, on est tellement loin de ça parce qu'on n'y comprend rien, on comprend rien à la biologie. Et encore une fois, la biologie, elle est, tr est trop compliquée pour le cerveau humain. La biologie, ça doit être des machines de l'IA qui essaient de le faire parce que c'est juste trop, trop complexe. A review by Elmery University last year did find that AI promised to be transformational when it comes to treating brain cancer. But it highlighted two big problems as well. One, how to make sure the technology is widely available, not just in a few select clinics, and how to make sure the data is not biased and doesn't lead to bad treatments for people from underrepresented communities.